Uh, another conic section topic, parabola. Last time we talked about circle and ellipse, and here are more interesting subjects because we haven't, we don't really um, talk about this a lot. But parabola, uh, we are very used to this thing right here because we have talked about parabola like y equals to x squared many times, right? You know how to do quadratic formula, all this stuff. But we're just trying to express that shape with different terminology and with the exact definition of it. How does it come about? So parabola, we could write it this way. There's a two case where you have a, it's going up this way or it's going down this way or that way, you know, the y spreading shape, y spreading shape or x spreading shape. So first case is the one that we're used to. We're going to write it as a y minus k. I always get mixed up with this. So let me take a look. Okay, so 4p y minus k is equal to x minus h squared. So this one is the one that has x squared. Okay, let me talk about second thing here. Second one is the opposite case where we have 4p x minus h and y minus k squared. Let's check if that's also right. Yes, it is right. Okay, so we have two cases. This is the one that spreads out this way or this way. Okay, so what does that P tell you? P is the one that P is the one that's telling you that it's away from the focus of the problem. So let me just express it this way. Okay, so wherever you have the center or a vertex, so let's say H is here, K is here, and you know, by the number in, in front of x squared, you can tell whether it's going up this way or going down this way. So we're talking about first case. Let's say it's just going up, right? So it's gonna, we're going to make this, this shape right here. Okay, parabola is made by something called focus and directrix. So this P is telling you on the line of symmetry, eh, that's a bad mistake. Yeah, let me do some better work here. All right. Here we have that, H is here, so let me just call this H and K. Okay, so H is here. Okay, so line of symmetry is going down this way, right? Okay, so focus is somewhere inside the loop here. Let's make blue mark. And this focus is P away from the vertex. And there's another line, I know this is confusing here, but another line that is P away from below this point, okay? So you can tell that, hey, this line will be Y equals to K minus P, right? And what I'm trying to say is this parabola comes about by setting up a focus, setting up a line called directrix so that whenever you have a point here on the curve this length and this length are same. It doesn't look like they're same but that's the definition of it. So if I put any point here that and that must be the same. Okay, maybe I should do a better artwork next time. But that's the Definition of problem. Let's do a second one and let me do a better artwork here. Let's go over here. Okay, let's look at a different example that shoots out this direction. So let's start with this form right here, x minus h and y minus k squared. Okay, I'm going to give more specific number next time, uh, right after this, but let's just do this one first. We have a coordinate. Let me do a better job of drawing this thing. Let's say H and K is somewhere here. Okay, we're going to set up the directrix and the focus. Same distance away from each other. So let's set up the focus here and the directrix here. So it's going to go through this straight line. Here's the line, directrix. Directrix, yes. Here's the focus. Okay, so what we're doing with this parabola is parabola comes about collection of all the points that are same distance from the directrix, 